All right, we are back in action with a much better connection. So let's see how these games are going to look from now on. Hey, what's going on? So the conclusion of that was with uh, Ruby's win there. They did manage to push in um, and capture that point. So they had a lot of time left there. I know that we were kind of running tight on the stream there, but they managed to push it in, make it happen, and... Um, very cool game there. Very kind of came down to the the wire there. We got a lot of game left. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I think what's our pull up the score if you could. So I want to see. So I think in order for Jay to stay in this, they're going to at least need to win the next two. Yeah. All right, so if Jade wants to make it in the finals, they're going to need to win the next two games. Uh, so it is pretty high pressure and high stakes for that, for their team. Alright, so we've got these teams starting off at the front. Uh, again, pretty traditional. We're going to see what Dekuren's able to do with this Widow to kind of make some special. And it already gets picked up with a big charge there, which takes Ruby already behind. And they're just going to start pushing in pretty hard here. But it looks like they're able to hold. Ruby's trying to push in here, but don't think it's going to happen. As they kind of recenter a bit here, and Jade is able to keep Ruby off of that initial pressure. It was looking tough at first with the Kieran's quick pick, but well, it took out their you know you're going right for that shield immediately. So yeah, that was a big big pick. So they really uh, really need, there they go there they're big guys back. Oops, which means that they're going to have some good defense at the wall. And now we're back to this Ryan on Ryan combat that we see a lot. It's again is the Chicago yeah. team comp. Mandatory run selection. Oh yeah. Huge shield getting low, but they're starting to push here with a big pick on their DPS. It means that they're gonna have an opportunity to get in here. They go, but Loth saves them, keeps them up. Loth, but Sloth right there in their face is knocking them back. Wow. So Team J does a really good job. But Huge picks up two. He's in the back. I didn't even see him back there. He's gonna have his ult up. Oh, but isn't able to stay up. Jet Li getting ready to to alt his teammates. Could send that Diva over there. We'll see what he ends up doing. Looks like they're going to be waiting for their team to regroup a little bit. Hopefully Tremulus is able to survive back there. He's getting picked up. But he's pretty evasive. There he goes, flying around. Keeping SJ Ripper off the main point. He's in that environment. Good work. Yep. Ooh, Tremulus almost caught up there. Choosing to hold his uh, ult. We'll see if it pays off. Doing a They're trading blows, oh. DPS for DPS, tank on tank. Big kills there, just goes wow. ham, picking them up. This is a lot of back and forth, but it looks like Team Ruby is going to be able to cap this point. Very hard fought, but it's working. Ruby has tasted victory. Tremulus did a really good job there of kind of distracting the other team, making some picks, and then getting back around and sticking with this team. They got a five and a half minutes to make this to cap this point, but definitely a point that can be hard to take. Do you want to try and get our stream back up there? Yes. Sorry. Alright. Team Ruby pushing in from the bottom there. Ooh! Dive coming in from that Ryan trying to get a lucky charge. Doesn't manage to happen, but Hawks picks up one. And they're kind of collapsing. Trade and tank. Blow for blows. Team Ruby starting to reinforce there with a big ult from Loth is going to give them some time to really do some damage here. Nerazuri responds with his own ult to keep them all up. Manages to pick up the tank. Hawks burns his ult. It seems to be worth it for them as Team Jade is going to be able to stabilize and pick up another. So I caught Ruby the tail end of that ult there by uh, Zarya at the at the entrance there. Yep. Absolutely needed to kind of pick up some heals. They're going to be 
staggering our Ruby team a little bit, which is going to delay the push. Potentially, nope, Tremulous able to get out of there as he tries to build up his ult. So he should have his suit back in a minute. There we go. All right, we got that aggressive, uh, aggressive tremulous, tremulous there on the diva. Answered with the alt. Yugs oh. going down was a big changeup. Looks like we have a few people still remaining on the point. It's enough to hold them with the two tanks left. We'll see Ruby's recollecting themselves on the outside there. Looks like they're gonna try and go upper left. Hawks keeping them on us there. Lobbing in so that uh, that alt fire. Big guy's asleep. Are they gonna try and push in at that point? Tremulous coming in from the back. And they do push in right below there. I kind of want to see how they do this. Lo oh, double Zen alt. <laughs> we got Ruby going on point. Oh. Both the Zen's doing a lot of damage here. Got Ruby holding it, not a lot of opposition. Ripper and Yibo trying to salvage what they can. But again, Anna's, uh, Anna's grenade there, pulling their damage, damage, uh, D-damage buff. We got some monkey action as well. All right, I'm back. Missing some, uh, some Zen ults there that were, uh, they're just trading blows with those uh, defensive alts. Team Jade really close here to get in this point. Captured here, Ruby, or I'm sorry, Team Ruby's really close to getting really this point. Really close. Captured, but they're not, they're losing control here as Team Jade is starting to recollect and keep their point up. Jade did make that quick switch there. Uh, you see Sloth swapped it over there to, uh, to Monkey, so that made a big difference. Looks like they're gonna be able to hold this point pretty well. But they do have three ticks on it. Loth kind of getting stuck behind lines here. Both Loth and uh, Nazari are Ooh. making some key alt plays there as Zen. Oh. Tremulous with his ult able to be aggressive. As usual. Oh, gets knocked out, taken down real quick there. Well, his play as Diva is always, it's, it's a lot of putting pressure on the players to, for, to break up their organization. Oh, they've got to be pretty careful there at low health. They got a tracer that can easily come up behind him, which is, it looks like what she's playing to do. Time. Hawk's able to Hawk. take him up. Yep. And that does it. So we got a little bit less than a minute here for Team Ruby to try and take this point. Oh, SJ Reaper. Ripper uh, keeping him honest over there. Picking away at that shield, getting up his ult. This is going to be really hard to push into. If you look at the ult discrepancy here, uh, we're going to have the Rhine ult, the Zen ult, and now we're going to have the Soldier ult. I think we're going to see another Zen v Zen ult battle. It's interesting, this movement towards the D.Va players. Um, definitely not something that we've seen a lot in the league. Ooh, a quick ult, followed by another yeah. ult. I feel like I'm watching. ult's going up top. Yeah. Looks like the same strat we saw before, but a very nice Ryan ult picking off Ryan and then answers with an ult back. Team Ruby's picking up these kills. We're going to wow. see if it's going to be enough, but out of nowhere, they're able to regroup. SJ Ripper gets his ult with no shield to defend it, and they easily pick up this point, or protect the point, rather. Protect it. Nice work. So they almost had a full cap there. Oh yeah. That's you know, that's the thing about the Hanamura point, you know, look at it, 88% just about. You're always yeah. just inches away from uh, from winning, and then once that other team starts to reinforce, it's just 
feels hopeless, so it can be very tough to work with. So again, we've got Team Jade here kind of holding on to their last remaining hopes. They need to win these games if they want to make it into the finals. Mm -hmm. And Team Ruby looking at an opportunity good chance here if they're able to get this one they pretty much position themselves in a pretty commanding spot to be ready to contest for uh, that final spot so it's exciting for them I think if they manage to win all these might be a clinch to be in our final to be in the finals I think I gotta really look over those the standings so we got team Jade starting off with this widow pick um, can be effective you pick off a couple early targets and then you got the other team pretty nervous. Ooh, Hawk is Widow. Oh, aggressive on the sprays there. We're good on time. I think, right? I think so. I mean, we should be okay. No computer issues, that's the real trick. Minus our stream, but the stream's good to go. All right, let's see what Hawk's able to do with this window. So again, we're hoping Team Jade's able to pull something out. Ooh, strong hit on Ryan, but he'll just heal right up. And now we got Hawk up there trying to cause some problems for their back line. Zarya keeping her alive. So the nice thing about Hawk is he's able to kind of split the attention from a lot of these players when he's at least high up and creates a little panic in that back line. Just takes a couple shots. But he's just got to make them. And they got a May up here too, which we haven't seen very many May plays here. No, but Hawk kind of picks up the see. DPS on Dekirin. And now this is the initiation for Team J to make something happen, and they do. Because they know Ruby's damage is going to be down. Ooh, Hawk, really quick kills there. Wow. And it looks like Team Ruby is going to pick up this point quickly. Very demanding I'm pushing sorry, Team point Jade is picking up the point quickly. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be definitely a challenge for Team Ruby to retake it at this point. And we're looking at a battle for the final point. So if you remember, <clears throat> we are pushing, they do have to push it in almost all the way. If you look at the yellow tick mark there at point B. So, I mean, they've pretty much got a cap B, more or less. Correct, but the good news is they got six and a half minutes to do it, and if they do it, they win the match. Yep, and let's see, uh, Jade is going above that that upper, well, depending on what your vantage point is, if you're on offense, that's the right side, obviously, and if you're on a defense, you're looking at that left side push in. We see Tremulous doing the Winston thing, which we saw there before. Do they? Does Winston know that they're coming up behind him? Yes, he does. Hawk picks up that fair. Very nice work. And Hawk quickly switches over to Tracer. And immediately recognizes where he can be more advantageous playing Tracer than Widow on this map. So they managed to, uh, they really want to try and get this first pick if possible. Um, that's really kind of the dream here. Because if you get that, you're at least somewhere. It looks like they do manage to pick up that first tick, which gives them a good advantage and a lot of exchanges for blows, but Jade's turning up on top here. And they're gonna pick up Monkey pretty easily. And they're gonna be looking to burn that alt, and it looks like Team Jade picks it up super fast. We got a one-to-one -one match up here. Wow. Let's put it in a break for our players. Okay. All right, we are going to take a quick three-minute yeah, break take here. Three Get an opportunity for our teams to regenerate. Ooh, nice. nice highlight video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As said. Um, like for the final. Yeah. So in honest and real. Then you're us too. So we talked about that. I think what we're going to do is next week we're going to basically have a best of three to start with. And that'll determine the final. Yeah. Because we. It'd be more yeah. fun than just like yeah. playing for last. 
That's right. We were like, it doesn't make any sense to do because we're like, okay. we don't want to do it online. We want to do it in person, and we've been doing pretty good on time. So what if all three teams are four or five? Though? So what if? Oh, if it works out. What if out the other team way? gets two and one because then it would be four and five? Three teams would be four and five. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, shoot, I don't know. <laughs> let's hope that yeah. yeah, let's hope it doesn't happen. All right, like we said, we're going to take a quick, quick three-minute break here. Got a bathroom break for the players. So what we're looking at here is both Jade and Ruby each have one win so far out of the three matches. Uh, this is regular league play. So next week we have our finals. Again, thanks for sticking with us. We had a little, little bit of a technical hiccup there, but I think we've got it sorted out. It looks like our stream uh, bit rate's holding steady. Scoop you up and throw you in there. Yeah. It's all right. So is the mic? Mic's hot. I can mute it.
Welcome to Oasis. Alright, we All are right. live with uh, game three here of three. This will be our final one of our first set of matches. We got another set coming up after this. And like we said, regular season, so... We're looking at points here to see who goes into finals, and we were just discussing with some players. This is uh, this is gonna be pretty tight, I think. Who's gonna be on finals and our exhibition, if you will? So yes. It is going to be a fight to the finish, I think, tonight, all night. Yeah, I think any team right now can still take it into the finals. A lot of it's gonna depend on what these games end up being for a lot of players, how they play, what they do. And um, we haven't really had a, this wasn't quite how season, the last season worked out, so. No, there was a clear winner last season, I feel. Oh yeah. Uh, just by sheer numbers, but the games were still close. Uh, I still don't think uh, there was a huge disparity. So now we've got Oasis oh, yeah. on our map. Uh, one, of our one of my personal favorites, we were talking about here prior to starting. It's very cool stuff. And we're seeing, again, some very traditional plays out of these teams. As Where's they, our... Oh, we got our runs. Okay. Yep. I was like, that's our signature. And, and they're, they're both going around the left there. Interesting. Absolutely. Nobody got booped off either, which is a more amazing part of it. But our, the uh, Team Jade's runs all the way out to the side is... You can see Shockin' out trying to pick up some kills. Team Ruby takes control of this top portion, and but oh, Nerezuri snipes it. Other the rival Zenyatta down. Wow. And we're seeing some back and forth. It looks like Team Jade's going to be able to take over this point here. Now, keep in mind, Nizari is normally a tank, so we are yes. seeing some serious play going on by him right now. Well, I think what we realized, or what occurred was the substitute that comes in is a tank player. So I think he naturally gravitated towards that role, and they just needed to adjust to it. Yep. And Team Jade's time on the point was short because Team Ruby now picks it up, and they start to bring up their timer. Bring it right on back. They were waiting for uh, their tank to come back there, a big guy, which is our, uh, our sub this week. So this left position, very good for uh, getting some good vantage point and can really pick up some kills, but you're pretty vulnerable to those spare concussive shots. Mm -hmm. You can see Shock and All is aware of that, and he's just preparing. Well, they're making to... me nervous coming in from that angle. I feel like I, I want to go right in through the middle there. But you know, you got some good protection up the fence matrix. Saw picks up shock and on, which opens it up, and they're collapsing on this point from up top. Coming right on down. Both levels there, you can see they're split, and now they're coming together. I don't know if that arm... Needed hey. something to try and extend yeah. that timer a bit, but... You know what, it worked for a little bit. It still worked, and Lost stayed alive. For now. Force is an unnecessary alt out of uh, Jade there, which... Allows them to secure the point, but I think they had it before, but now their timer's picking up. So a lot of back and forth so far on these points. Interesting. We got a cool ult coming out of Ryan here. We're gonna see what he's able to do. And he's got a good positioning, but Yuge picks him up and he there nails it anyways. Wow. But he gets taken down for nothing. I, wow. Team Jade isn't able to get the follow-up. Alt pops off on nothing. SJ Ripper, I think that is, trying to yeah. save the point. Salvage it for what he can get there. Gets caught up in the ult by Yugs. Yugs picks up both of them. Wow. And now it's Team Ruby's point. Yugs, very nice ult there. I feel like that's his uh, signature run. Gets in that good position. Hammer down and clean up. Oh, yeah. Team Ruby's been practicing a lot, been working together, reviewing those tapes. Yugs is a big, integral part of that front line. Absolutely. Got the current chipping away. But they see him and he's coming at him, but great Good. flash there. Keeps him alive as he backs up. Yuke supports, but big guy picks him up. All out of Loth, keeping his tank up. Loth very good with partnering up with those with their uh, with their tanks is what I was gonna say. He's, he's using a good time to pop that off. A lot of action on the corner there, and he tries to pop off his off, but gets taken out. And it looks like Team Jade is recollecting on the point. 
This is some of the most back and forth control point I've, I've seen in a long time. We've had a lot of exchanges here. Yes. We normally see it just take it all the way up. Maybe yep. they reclaim it for a, for a few seconds and then it goes right on back and yep. it goes one or the other. Or you see, yeah, the team take yeah. it to 90, get taken off the point and then they lose. Yeah. So this is a lot of back and forth here of a lot of wipes. We're going to see if Team Jay's able to hold this. SJ Ripper manages to pick up their tank, which is very cool, but we got an alt out of Shock and Awe. Wow. Shock and Awe does manage to pick off a couple there. So we got some good alts here out of uh, Team Jade, which is going to make it tough for Ruby to. I really thought Ruby one. was going to poke in there, you know, leading the charge with the uh, Soldier alt, doing the damage. Usually it'll scare everybody off, but it didn't look like it did. Hughes can... Oh, picks up three squishies. Wow. And that's going to be huge. Team Ruby's going to pick this up potentially. Great Hughes follow show up right in time. And Tremulous came in to help with that cleanup effort. Nice work. And Loft with the support again. Ooh, and this is going to be real tough for Jay to push in here. I think that's it. Wow. So Team Ruby picking up the first point here. Pretty unexpected control point back and forth, but that is very exciting, very cool to see. It's exciting to watch that. Good team team communication, I'm sure, that's going on there. Oh, yeah. You know, it was interesting, as you saw the difference between those two Rhinolds. You had one Rhinold that took out the entire team. I think that was big guy, nailed them, had four down. Nothing happened, though, right? He got picked up, and that was the end. You saw Hughes nail his ult, Tremulous, coming in from behind, just getting a little bit extra damage, just enough to finish off those kills and completely swing the point in the opposite direction. Yep, absolutely. We're going to see if Team Ruby is able to do this again on this point and, uh, and make a win happen. I think I was going to say the key role in these matches, I know you could probably argue for any, but one word comes to mind with me and it's tank. Mm. Their tanks are really controlling this yes. very well. Once those line, those front lines break, especially with these heavy Rhine teams, the whole line just start to collapse. Well, they're conscious on keeping them alive, too. All those loft alts are help keeping their tanks up. Look at this play by Ruby. They're trying to sweep around, controlling this high ground really smart, and Team Jade's letting them, and there they go. They're going to collapse down on top of them. Drop on. Let's see if they can do it. But you got to kind of bring oh, it all together. The guy Team with the charge trying to go over. Tremulous, no, gets picked <laughs> off. <laughs> Didn't pay off for him there. A lot of times, you know, if you notice, the Ryan went down one, another person, and another time, another and another. You Jade gotta, said, Jade sorry. said, no. You gotta, no. gotta coordinate those a little bit better. And sometimes it helps to have a much more close range team. So like a Reaper. Um, I mean, the Diva and the Ryan are good, but other players that really can use that close range distance. Absolutely. Good Jet Li with the nice one one for one shots there, keeping everybody healed up. You know, I think it's always tough when we uh, do these streams because I think you really don't always appreciate the hard work that comes out of our supports. But there goes Hawk slicing and dicing, trying to pick up some stuff. All comes down, picks up one, and he manages to stay up, which is enough for them because Team Jade's going to hold this points more. This is, this is more the control point that we see here. Holding on to it and defending nicely. Yeah, you lose one person on that whole push. Team way, Ruby's got to regroup. The way this map is, you're right, going back to your close quarters, there's a lot of close quarters combat here because of the way this is positioned. You've got very tight points of entry going in here. What I'm probably most surprised that we're not seeing right here is any Lucio play. Lucio is phenomenal on these points, especially around this pillar. He's hard to hit, does a decent amount of damage. You got poop potential. They're all coming on an Arizuri here. They're trying to just push him back, buy some time. Sloth is really saying no on that point right there. You got Gently again, really hammering away at keeping his team up. There you go, Team Ruby though. Picking up Evo, there it is. And it looks like Team Ruby is going to be able to reclaim this point pretty easily once they get rid of this Ryan, which they do. All right, Ruby takes control of the point, but for Jade, it's only one more wipe, and they're going to be able to pick this point up and take this next map. But at 91%, they still got to hold it for a little bit. They can't just, you know, they can't tap it and go. That's true. It is hard, though, uh, to not trickle and make it in, but we'll see what they're able to do. 
Well, we're coming up on three alts here. We've got a Tracer, an Ana, as well as Shock and Awe coming up with the Pharah. Aye. Right on Ryan, Yuke's hit knocks off. That's gonna be huge for Team Jade here. Wow. As they're gonna, oh, but he gets picked up by Shock and Awe. So that's an even trade. What do we got? No. Messy Ripper shutting down these points here. And it looks like Team Jade might have an opportunity to pick this back up. They can hold it. Mirazari doing a nice healing job on the back line right there. The Tremulus gets the mech back. I Not don't think enough. it's going to be gonna enough. Pop right back out. No. Looks like Team Jade's going to be able to pick this up. Shock and Oz trying to keep this going. It's going to be really tough for Team Jade or Team nice Ruby. Nice movement there, but wasn't enough. Team Ruby is kind of trickling in, Lost popping his all, trying to buy just a little time. Maybe somebody makes it there in time, doesn't look like it. Tremulous sneaks in again. I think we're delaying the inevitable at this point, unless we get some major alts. Uh, Ooh, Tracer. And notice that last minute switch to Lucio on both sides, Ebo and Law. Absolutely, you need that speed to get back in there. Even if you're close to an alt on a hero, if you're not able to be in the fight, it doesn't matter how close you are, it's not gonna matter. So you'll see a lot of characters switch to those speedy ones. You know, you got your Tracers, Lucios. We'll see if Yibo decides to stay on uh, Lucio. Again, really big advantage to get to the point first, to have that AOE heals. Everybody you know is gonna be on the point in general, but they opt more for the, uh, the, the Ana play, so. That works. All right, and these teams again, pushing for these Rhines. They really are relying a lot on their uh, Rhein alts to carry them through these games, and you know, it's gonna be an important aspect. So you're opting for the jump pad moves there, and they're utilizing kind of their upward mobility of their D.Va and their Fair to take it up top, but it's not gonna be enough as they get picked off and Ruby's already backing off the point. And it looks like Jade's gonna easily pick this up first. It's funny they took the fight over to that catwalk, which is very popular for your soldier and anyone with a little bit of distance. Yeah, well, when you're up on that catwalk, you completely shut down that half of the map. You really can't contest anything. The cool thing about this map, though, is that you don't necessarily need to contest it. You can still control the point on the left side there and just deal with it as they go. Um, that is dangerous. I don't recommend that for long, but in the beginning of a game, you don't necessarily need to chase down the dudes on the top. And in fact, if they're up there, they're not capping the point, so you could cap it that way. So. Agreed. Looks like Team Ruby's trying to push along that jump pack side, but you'll notice Team Jade already hopping up there. Let's see if there. they split up. Oh, there's the current. Yeah, I was going to say, somebody's going to have to use that jump pad, come up and over, and we are seeing that. Good shots, but no picks just yet. So you see, while they have, ooh, Very nice, nice shot. There kill we go. Kill there, but ooh. Hawk picks him up, and even though Team Ruby got a lot of kills there, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Tremulous trying to alt off the point. Buys a little bit of space for his team, but Hawk's able to pick up those healers and points not quite rubies yet, even though they have the dominant numbers. Just a, we almost the alt. there. Yeah, we've got a couple of alts here coming up. They should be able to tip it right Ooh, over. Nice kills by Dekure in there. Takes out Hawk, prevents some real big damage, but Jade's collapsing already. They're just too staggered right now to make this happen. So Ruby recollecting themselves for potentially their final push. And they got a lot of alts on Team Ruby right now. And Tremulous switching over to that Winston. Maybe trying to apply a little bit of pressure, but Dekuren gets picked up, which means that... I want to see if Dekuren stays up as McCree here. Might want to switch to a soldier if he wants to get to the point in time. Tremulous trying to deal with... That anti-heal from that Anna is really gonna mess it up, and we got Ruby making a play here. Might be able to pick up something here. A big guy just running down the team, has his ult up. Is he gonna pop it, or is he gonna save it? He decides to save it a little bit longer, but gets taken down. Ah, yeah. The current's back on the point here. 
totally nailing that road. Great wow. crit hits there. And it looks like just got Naraziri on the point. He gets picked up. Loth takes him out. Zen v Zen. Two but, very good Zens. But Jade's already reinforcing the point. Already back on it. And SJ Ripper gets his all with Anna for the Nano. Coming back around to Yuge. Takes him out. Right on Tremulous as well. Does he do enough damage? This is going to be tough. Hawks wow. just picking him off. And it looks like Team Jade's going to cap this one as well. Wow. Nice work. I was going to say there, if I was betting right in the middle there, I would have thought Jade was going to lose it. But I guess not. Wow. So again, Team Jade holding on for their final chance to make something happen here. And you can really see it in their play style here. This is some of the best we've seen yet. So we've got some people here rooting for Ruby. We've got, uh, see a couple of mentions here in the chat stream. Oh yeah. Ruby definitely, you know, if you remember, Rexaw made a prediction early on. Ruby is the next fire. Mm -hmm. But Ruby might be getting knocked out of this tournament right here if they don't manage to get this win. Wow. I don't want to call him a liar, but, you know. Well, I know what happened the last time you made calls last week. That's, Man, that did that's, not that's work out off. Off. at all. It was way off. If and you hear Maverick make any bets, just bet in the yeah, opposite exactly. direction, you'll do well. And we've got both teams. So it looks like Ruby's opting for that same strategy, taking up the top portion. You know, it is a good strategy if you're able to make it work. You just got to collapse at the same time, and maybe with some different heroes, that'll work. But Nerezuri already picking up these heroes, and uh, big guy oh. scatters the top up there. And there, Ruby's a big mess right now. And they're yeah, just they getting picked up. falling apart. They got to retreat. Jet is, I don't know if Jet Li's going to make it out of there in one piece. Uh, no, nobody's did making not. It out. Nobody made it out alive there. Ooh. And this is that mental component. You know, we can't talk about this enough. Team fatigue. Yep. Been playing a lot. You're on the losing end. We got Dekurin switching over here to a Tracer. Definitely trying to pick up Hawk as much as possible. Shocking a little bit out of But out I'll tell you one thing though, if Jade gets overconfident, they overextend, they're gonna be in trouble. We see a big guy not quite overextending, but getting close to it, I would argue. He's kind of yeah, pushing it out a little bit there. team up there, you know, if they do manage to get picked off, they're gonna be in rough shape here. We're gonna see what they're able to do. Team Ruby trying to make another push in here. They're just, they gotta get together, they gotta work kind of as a team here. Um, which they are, they're starting to make this push here up here together. And a sleep start is down to Kieran coming from the back, trying to flank. Hawk comes in there though to scatter their team. But you know what, that instant is gonna be really hard to do anything and he picks him up right away. All comes down but doesn't hit anybody. Nothing, shocking us, holding on to it, holding on to it. Great kills. Jet Li chasing them down. Team Ruby making it happen here. Picks up for a nice kills there. And there it was good up. cleanup effort. We saw a lot of run. Tracer action there to help clean that up. Tremulous doing a good chunk of that damage in there as Winston. It helps having that electric uh, chain lightning, it, you know, that you don't have to worry about it. Just jump in there and start firing away. Especially in those tight quarters, yes. everybody's close, really useful. And if you notice, Team Ruby did not use a lot of alts on there compared to Team Jade, which burned a couple. And we're going to see if this is going to pay off in their next big encounter. Well, we saw Shock and I'll hold on to it. That was tempting, man. I wanted to hit the button for him <laughs> watching that. It was making me making me anxious. Ooh, right. is he going to blow this all? He doesn't need to. Nope, hold it on. A lot to of him are weak. He's, He's got his eye on one of those tanks, I'm telling you. Eye on one but of those tanks. He doesn't need to. Shock and I'll picks up them all out with his alt. Nice work. Fantastic by Ruby there. And you can see their players are, there were three on fire at one point there on that. Nice work. And that was the meat grinder right there. You had the curing coming up from the side, cutting off any sort of retreat, and they just ran right into Shock and Oz alt and had no chance there. And we got Absolutely. Team Jade coming in from the bottom here, switching it up from how they usually are approaching it. They've got their alts built up here, and ooh, picks up Yusha behind. Big guy charges him right afterwards. He goes down, and that opens ooh, up Tremulous the opportunity. Tremulous right from above again. Do this shock. Good, good position on that bubble, keeping him safe in the corner. A little miss alt on Naraziri there, who picks up the nano. That's not going to be good, potentially, for Team Jade. We'll see if they're able to still make it through here, and it looks like they are going to be able to claim this point. Wow. And Team Ruby gets wiped. Ooh, Yugs got picked up real hard there by, uh, who was that, Sloth. 
Team Ruby's got one last push here. All they right, Ruby, if they want to hold on to this, they're getting together right now. And this is going to be tough. They're altless, looking at 90%. Team Jade knows where they're coming from. But he goes down, their tank goes down. Are they going to be able to pick up Hawk here? He's one of the big threats. Slice and dice and they pick him up. And they picked him off. And now Tremulous can go to work. No! No! What if he gets picked no. up there though? Sloth said no. All coming down. It looks like Team Ruby's not going to make this. It looks like Team Jade's going to be walking away. Wow. With a win. Nice work, Jade. Great plays by Team Jade there, picking up another win. So they go two and one tonight and are looking at potentially making it to the finals with these games. Ooh, we got play of the game coming from Tremulous. I want to see which play this is. Oh, this is in that close quarters. Look at yes. that. Yes. Shredding. The shield does nothing. Oh. Great plays by Tremulous there. Very nice. Really good plays all around. That was very cool to see. Yeah. Wow. 50, 50 limbs there on Hawk. <laughs> yeah, he did some great but work. Near Azari, 40% kill participation as Zen. That's pretty impressive as well. That's that Discord orb. Wow. All right, so that's what we got for our first set of matches today. We are going to reset and uh, get Team Sapphire and Team Onyx. Onyx, who is uh, arguably ahead right, well, they are ahead yes. right now going into the playoffs. So we'll see if they can keep that lead or if they're threatened at all. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we're going to get the teams organized and we'll come back. We'll talk about the lineups a little bit. And uh, yeah, just uh, stick with us. Yeah, absolutely. That was.
Just setting up the second, second, uh, second matchup of the night. I can get that out. Um, so we've got Team Sapphire and Team Onyx, which is sitting in our first first place spot right now, going into finals next week. Um, as Maverick organizes the teams here, um, if Onyx, uh, depending on how well they do, if they go ahead and win two. Of these three matches, we're looking at a two-way tie, I believe. I think so, yeah. And then if they sweep it, I think we're looking at a three-way tie. And in that case, we're going to have some tie-breaking games next week before we go into finals and uh, the exhibition. Oh, yeah. Next week will be wild if that's what ends up happening. Uh, I mean, it's exciting for the viewers. Challenging for us. As yeah, organizers. I mean, we gotta. Yeah, as organizers, we gotta. We gotta plan for that stuff. So. All right. Well, so I, I think we are ready to to get this we going. Got We're gonna get moving with uh, Team Sapphire versus Team Onyx. All right. We'll just go over quick here. Hit on some of the key players that we've noticed uh, in past weeks. So on Team Sapphire there, we have Blitzbolt, uh, who actually was our hero highlight of last week. Yeah. Um, so he, did he get our prize from... Uh, no, we need to, get we that need to give him his prize. So maybe we'll wait till this match concludes. Uh, but he was our hero highlight, so you can read about him and his play styles and mm -hmm. techniques. Um, some other notable players here. We've got, uh, let's see... Got a lot of people to talk about here. Well, Will we got, is a great Zarya. Is consistently he's playing on the Ignite yeah, account, but um, I think he's played Zarya most. I don't. Know, I'm trying to think of another player he had, no, but he's played most, him most of the time. We're gonna jump into game here to give you guys an opportunity to see right, what we we've got being played right now. We do have one sub in or two sub ins this time. We've got Trying Hard playing in for Kwai Senpai, and we've also got um, a big guy playing again. You may recognize him from the last game. Subbing in for Dorcasaurus. And on Team Onyx, we've got a couple of key players there that are worth noting. We got Zave doing our DPS, usually your Farah, which you can see he's picked there as we're as we're waiting for the game to start. So keep an eye out there for him. Um, we've also have Kaiwa Senpai, who was also a hero highlight of last season. Which is getting subbed, subbed by getting Tryon subbed Hart. by Trinehart, unfortunately. Um, but Trinehart still, I think, did pretty well. Subbed in last week for one of the matches. Yep. Um, but also very, very reputable player. And then rounding it up, we have Carrie, who was a very good uh, DPS, if yep. I also remember correctly. So it looks like he's coming out the gates as Tracer. Um, so we'll see what happens. So here we go. Uh, Team Sapphire holding the normal position, but gets booped off real quick by Zave which means that they're going to open up free straws and the whole team runs down there to try and save them. You'll notice now they're split up, which is a dangerous position to take as our big guy gets in there trying to contest that. Ninja goes down, but we exchange a little back and forth and it looks like Team Sapphire is getting the better end of the deal, maybe, but the payload's still moving on down here. Can we up the volume of the camera? Absolutely. All right. Team Onyx just moving this along. Carrying the back line, zipping and zagging, making things uncomfortable, but Blitzball manages to pick him up. And Team Onyx starting to round that corner. The very crucial corner. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sapphire though, doing a good job. You can see Will's already got that energy pretty high, up to 60. And uh, that's gonna be pretty dangerous for our uh, Got him in a weird spot there, actually. Kind of having free straws come in there uh, and really push them into the corner. Onyx had really no choice to retreat or face a respawn. Yeah. Look at that, just lobbing those shots down on Trin. Again, the theme we've mentioned before, using environment here. See, Zave is using that to his advantage. Not necessarily flying around as much, but really using that ledge. 
knows where his threat exists. He knows Ninja's looming right there, his soldier ready to take him out. That's still not going to be enough. They managed to take out that Mercy, and it looks like Team, Sa or, uh, Team Sapphires might be able to push this back, but they do know they are. a good job holding, yeah. So Onyx not able to make it through, but Yurda will pop the old save, pops his right afterwards. He's pretty far away, able to still pick up some big kills. Prevent a lot of his team from going Trend down there, as well, but And Link, ooh, if Link would have had that ult, he might have been able to, able to hold, but he gets taken out, and Team Onyx starts to push up here. Wow. So again, Team Onyx definitely our favored team. Um, and Zave kind of leading that charge with a lot of his strong DPS. And on fire. Oh yeah. So, so we've got Sapphire here coming back. You see, you've got Link with an ult there ready to go off. So I'm sure they're they're prepared to go in and just drop in on as a whole team. And one thing that uh, Zave excels at is not just killing the enemy team, but Got a big ult here coming big in. Are they able to make anything happen? Sapphire's not really able to convert on that. Picks up a couple, but not quite enough. Big guy's shield, though, is going to break, and that's going to make this Ryan very vulnerable. And, and health is low as well. Yep. Blitz Ball's back there just popping kills. And, and Will being ultra aggressive with that Zarya saying, I'm going to take you down tank on tank. It is already a third of the way back to his ulti that he just used. So... Like I was saying, you got Zave up there who's always going to be a challenge to deal with, but he does a great job of not only getting the kills needed, but getting key kills. So you'll notice him start to go after major targets, killing the Mercies, killing the healers, and then unloading on the team to really make the most of it. Priority targets. You can see Team Sapphire starting to recollect here. And Zave trying to, again, look at that, find those key targets, picks up the healers first, gets taken out by... And the team and big alt out of uh, the Zen there is going to keep the Sapphire team healthy. And they're just trying to hold on tight and it might be possible as they pick up carry, avoid the alt. Shrades though able to to push him back, and but he's probably going to go down with this, but not before he takes out Trin. Wow, Will is doing some, some heavy damage this match. Oh yeah, he's already got his alt back up. He's getting charged majorly by this team. And, Thinking about that, another Graviton, but ops against it. This team starts to stabilize as well, but big guy coming in hot there. Not going to have a lot of support by his team, but Trinehart's behind there, keeping him up. Makes Yur his push worth it. Yurtable is getting hurt bad. Ult comes down. They're trying to convert on it, and it, Will does a great job, but Xave still back there, making things nasty for his team, but he's already down to 60 health. He gets sniped by Ninja. So with this uh, split, Staggers, Team Ruby. Is that oh, Will geez. again going after yeah. the tanks? Wow. Will's probably having some of the best damage plays we've seen so far. Keeping a charge, too. I mean, look, we switched over to him. He's already cooled down. He was in his 40s, going down to 30 charge. Very nice. So Team Onyx really getting shut down on this point here, which is pretty surprising considering Zave should have all this freedom up top to really mess him up, but he's already getting chased down, and Blitzball picks him up in the final minute of this point. Wow. Without one of their major damage dealers here, Team Onyx is going to have a hard time pushing in here. We have the potential here for a big Rhino that could really crack this wide open, but his shield's going down, and he's dealing with free straws ults as well. So the Ryan's face off, big guy decides to back off, allow his to recharge. Blitzball goes down to carry. Free Straw's being aggressive, going right past the payload there to spread. Ooh, Alt gets picked up just off the corner, and they're starting to collapse on him. Are we going to be able to see an Alt come out of Link, though, to keep this team up? Oh, he gets picked up by Gary. Doesn't even make it happen. Wow. I think Onyx is really pushing in here. They have full control right now. They do, but they've also only got a minute left, and they're getting aggressive here, but don't think it's going to be able to pay off for them. If they lose these targets, it's going to be tough. Look at Will running down. almost a full charge there, oh, and he gets taken out. They just get taken out. That's real tough for that team. Charge comes down on free straws, but he's able to pick them up, and Team Sapphire looking to stabilize on this point. Shield going down real low, though, for free straws, and he's wide out in the open. 
as Team Onyx just continues to push that payload. If I was Sapphire right now, what would you be trying to do here? Regroup is what we're looking at. Maybe gotta, change the comp up. Got to hold this point down. You got to keep your healer up. If you see Zave starting to make a move above you to take out your supports, you got to prevent that. You're losing out on clutch mercy alts that are needed. We got less than a minute left. They can definitely hold this point and, and contest it. Ooh. Hook doesn't connect, but a free straw shield goes down and allows Xave to have free range on this team. So even though the other ult went down, but Ninja, there we go. There's that Link ult that they needed, and he might be able to pop his as well. Ninja, gotta pick up Irritable. Doesn't manage to connect. Great work out of Will there. Really keeping that energy high. Not at that exact moment, but really good shielding opportunities there. Good positioning on his part as well, being aggressive, but not too aggressive that he's out there overextending. He's already getting picked up. They're on Zave so hard. Blitzball picks him up. Nice ult out of free straws, but Yurtable opts for the ult. Ninja's back there picking him off. No one on the payload. No one was there. Wow. That point closes up very quick for Team Onyx. Sapphire knew what they were doing there. They knew if they stay off that point, don't overextend, don't trickle in there, just get them off that payload so we can get the win here. Yep. You saw Ninja diving in there, picking up the kills from behind. Yurtable had to ult to do something, but Team Onyx was just too focused on picking up some kills and weren't able to connect. Just cruising around, looking at that little lighthouse. What do you think's on that cargo ship? Most likely some cargo. I think it's important like, cargo? Nah, probably not. You know, this is the only map in Overwatch that doesn't have a flag associated with it. Interesting. Yeah. That's a fun fact. I think that's true, at least. Like a nation flag or just a flag? Yeah, like a nation flag. Huh. I did not do my research from last, uh, I did not read the backstory, so. All right, man. I'll cover it for you. All right, Dive Comp coming out of Team Sapphire here. Let's see if they can make it happen. We don't see this, I mean, we didn't see this at all in the last game. Nope. But did Sapphire do that? Uh, I don't have very diligent notes from last week. I did not have my little black book. Did they achieve the dive? I think we saw dive comps from most everyone. Yep. So, especially with Will as a Zarya player, you know, he does a really good job keeping that energy level high, shielding the correct targets. Really makes a big difference. We got a late switch out of carry here over to Tracer. Hopefully he's going to be able to make it back to this point on time. It looks like he is. Tracer's pretty quick. He is back. He's already ready to go. So we're going to see what Team Sapphire is able to do as they kind of start to... I'm concerned Onyx is not... Well, no, they have Zave doing the damage. Wow. Free Straws right in immediately is going to lead the charge. So Free Straws is kind of the key here to this dive comp being successful. And he's he taken out. However, we did move the payload there. Payload's Sapphire getting moved. Did. One of the we issues with this sort of dive-ish comp is that they also don't have the DPS to really necessarily support it. The McCree is going to really benefit from having a Ryan shield. Yeah, it's very difficult as a McCree player here to maneuver and still do the right amount of damage. Very nice shot there on save. You can see his ult is ready to go. I'm going to see if he gets to a high point or in a position to uh, make it high noon. Blitzball really picking up some good kills there. You got both these healers just way out in the open. Managed wow. to pick up one, doesn't able to get the other one. Not sure if this uh, the Winston's working out for him, unfortunately. You're gonna look out, Carrie there is lurking behind there is Tracer, but coming back around front to group with the team. Zave is very concealed up at the top, ready to pop out and deal some damage. They're kind of ignoring this Tracer, which I don't know, that's pretty dangerous to do. Especially when you know that our alt is gonna be coming up. She just dropped it. All right, so alt coming in. Somehow Blitzball manages to flank them, which you don't see an awful lot, but Will building up that energy nice and quick. Great accuracy. He's going to have his Graviton up shortly here. And it is already up. He drops it, drops it. really quick, but Zayn is ready nice. to contest it. And did. 
Oh, that teams are so low on health, but it just wasn't enough to finish anybody off. Wow. I mean, as a Zarya player, I mean, they, they just scooped up everybody in that. That is a great grab throw. It does, but Team Onyx is able to stabilize on this first point, which might be a little scary for Team Sapphire. Yeah, they're already moving it back. We're under the two minute mark. And Onyx is able to kind of reposition here and get a really good vantage point here from this corner. Yes, very strong. They got some good alts coming up too with the Reinhardt. You're gonna have another res coming out of Mercy. Just gonna meet, require her to get killed, but Zave goes down real quick again, one of their big DPS players, and they're starting to collapse already. We got Ninja up top trying to pick off. He sees that Mercy and healers back there. There we go. So they gotta find that Mercy, or else this is all gonna be for nothing. The team knows it, that Reinhardt knows it. They're collapsing on him. Not needed. Irritable, look at that. Ninja going straight for Irritable. Yep, picking up those healers. So not enough, not enough support right now, and they're getting pushed back. But not before Sapphire gets this point. Very well done. That was a very well-coordinated effort by Sapphire there. Trades a little bit out of position there. As Team Sapphire now goes up on this point, but nobody's on the payload to move it. All right, there we go. Oh, we're talking. Free Straw swinging wildly, picking up some alt charge there. Will keeping him shielded. He sees that Mercy just goes straight forward and picks her up with Blitzball. Wow. Blitzball is proving he is the hero highlight of the week for sure yeah. with this play. Link picking up some nice heals there, keeping his Link. team up. Nice poop too. And was able to stay up through that Rhinolf. I was kind of surprised that yeah, big guy didn't go straight for him. Look at that, picking it up. Might be able to pick off a kill here. Probably just looking to keep his uh, his ult charge high there. You know, some really good supportive ults here that are really designed to sustain the team instead of reset ult. So that's the yep. main difference between having a Mercy on your team or these, these heroes. Trin just picking up some kills there along this side. Doing a really good job keeping that Discord on the Pharaoh, which just totally shuts her down. Trying to keep free straws up, but not enough. A big guy comes through with a very commanding Reinhardt, but able to retreat in enough time so he doesn't go down. You're gonna see in Team Sapphire starting to collapse a little bit. Pops the ult, Trin trying to keep everybody up. Deals with a lot of ults from Team Onyx, but unfortunately they just don't have the numbers right now to contest this, except Ninja coming in here, chasing them back. Again, picks up. Zave, which is going to be helpful, but ooh, ooh. nice shield. And they're going to try and pick up carry, I imagine, before they start to move up here. It's kind of in their back line, giving them, causing some trouble for them. We see Freestyle's with his ult. Is he going to pop this? I can't imagine he's not. Ooh, but the res comes up from Yurtable after Blitzbolt's big dead eye. Manages to pick up Will, but they, they're staying up. Ooh, and Zay blows himself up. We got chasing down the Mercy. It looks like Team Sapphire is going to be able to pick this point up. Sapphire is in really good shape right now. Nice work. All right, so right now we got Team Sapphire having an opportunity here to take this first point. To dethrone Team I. Well, not dethrone them yet, but come out with this match one. And prove they can Whoa, play. Oh, Reinhardt coming out of nowhere with wow. that charge. Just trying to survive. And she does. Good focus heals on Irritable. Trying to use that corner to their advantage. Interesting positioning. Makes me super nervous watching this. Link gets picked up, but booped them out. And they're starting to slowly move up. Oh, counter ult, but I think Big Guy got the better side of the aspect. This team saved. So. Just picks them up. Irritable doing some good healing, staying protected, ready to pop that alt. As you can see, he's gonna hit that 100% on his alt meter there. And now he's saying it's okay to die on point, guys, but it looks like they may or may not need to. They should be all right here. Ooh, carry opting for the Sombra pick. We're gonna see how that's able to work out. I just noticed that. He's had that pick for a little bit now. 
Big guy goes down Link. Gets it going, Ninja. Huge ult in the back line there. Completely shreds that team apart. And it looks like they're just gonna be able to walk this in if they stay if on they the stay payload. If the uh, they stay on the payload, get on the payload. Sombra trying to contest it just a little bit longer with her invis. This is gonna be really hard. Ryan's coming in. There we go, there's the ult. Good ult, carry right on the payload too. Carry might have his EMP up on Sombra, which could really make a big difference. Make a big difference as he holds it. Boom. Pops the ult. Completely. But it's not wow. enough. Oh, oh, even with the Sombra ult. Wow. wow. Even amongst that EMP. Really That's good play so by Team Sapphire there. Very, very impressive. Clutch Sombra right there, yeah. for sure. He wasn't able to get the win with the But wasn't Sombra. able to get the win, but it was really <laughs> fun to watch that. Oh. Yeah, it was good. Really good reses there to kind of keep the fight moving, getting him an opportunity to do something. This Deadeye was very good. This is what kind of keep, kept him in it. Yeah, takes out the shield. Big shield to deal with. Great angle there. You know, even with this ult, it really wasn't enough, as you notice. He just kept the damage yep. going. That was a player Kept the pain train. Play a hero highlight, hero of, highlight last of last week. Yep. And now he also gets a very cool custom vinyl. Oh, yeah. All right, I think we got a play of the game. Bathroom break coming in. And we're going to... Let's uh, do the... Hero, let's get the, yeah, let's get the poster and we'll do the hero thing. We'll, well. Uh, show those on screen here. Let me uh, move teams and you'll uh, you can do that. So we ran into an artist at the Midwest Gaming Classic up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, LoreRadark.com uh, did these cool versions of uh, we've got Reaper. Mercy and a uh, May left. Uh, so we're going to go present one of these over to Blitzbolt. And a, uh, and a vinyl. Start it up. Yeah. <laughs> 
so I, I uh, snapped a pic too for our, our for the website. All right, that's a little, it's always sunny quote for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> for the website. What else My is hands in there. My hands look small. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, see. So we've got ourselves a May on this point. You know, we saw May on the last time, but they got ran over pretty quick, so we didn't get to see too much action. But being able to wall off this front entrance is really helpful um, for Hanamura, and we're hoping to see that happen again. can really break up teams that are just rushing in, trying to make something happen quick. can really just shut them down. So we'll see if that's going to be the same case this time. Oh, actually, that was on offense. So usually you can do some sneaky shenanigans with May coming out the wall and bypassing this whole middle area. You don't see that too much recently. It's pretty cheesy strats, but sometimes the well-coordinated team, it can really work well. You the right side. Yeah. We're good. All right. All right. We got Ninja up top, ready to rain down on them, and we got Team Onyx coming in to start this fight at the gate. All right. Freeze draws, keeping that shield strong. Yeah, Trey, it's got to recharge a little bit there. There's not a whole lot, actually, to contest or deal with Freeze Straw's shield. It looks like Big Guy's trying to pick away a little bit at the shield, which should be able to help. Carrie's trying to zip in. It's going to be a lot easier for Team Sapphire to break down that other Rhine shield. So that's just part of their team comps they got to deal with. And Zave already getting picked up quick by Ninja. You got a nice shielding by Will as well. Oh, yeah. There we go. And they make Ooh, their move. No idea how he capped Link. But it doesn't matter. He somehow he's able to take him out. Great shielding by Will there. Unbelievably good. And Team Sapphire still able to about hold that. that. Fantastic. Carry trying to snap in there, but it's going to be hard to, to take anybody. Look at that. He keeps up free straws. He's barely alive. And he's already up to 80 energy. And they're already positioning themselves. Sapphire's getting ready to hold off Ruby again, or Onyx again. Wow. But Zav in the back taking out some really important damage dealers, and he's starting to just pick away at that team. Blitzbolt sees him and knows it's a risk, but he's kind of letting Zave hang out up there for a second. Shrades nails the all, but not before. They've got a nice all coming out of Trin. Just going to keep his team up. Got an all coming out of Ninja. They're able to pick up Yurtable. Anything going to come of that? Zave? Doesn't look like it. But Will, again, great. All oh, Carrie fell off the map. Uh-oh. Zave's in there to shut him down. Goes right after Ninja. Knows where his threat exists. Takes it out. And now he's chipping away at Will on the outside there. Whoa! <laughs> Not able to finish him off. And Team Sapphire slowly starting to stabilize on this point thanks to Will's really good shielding. But it looks like it's not going to be enough. Team Onyx really starting to take over this point. But Rez comes in from Link to kind of breathe some new life into Team Sapphire. Ooh, but Team Sa Here we go. Team Sapphire might be able to hold this here. But there's a res coming from another res by Irritable who jumps in there seemingly out of nowhere. And I think these exchanges will probably be enough to get Team Onyx on the point. And they got it officially. Now on to point B. That was a lot of back and forth there. I didn't was not convinced that Onyx was going to take that. Nope. Let's see, looks like they're taking the upper ground here as well, but it looks like Sapphire is ready to, to answer for them. Slowly starting to peak up a little bit here, and yeah, Team Sapphire's ready already up there. This Shrades, point, though, just going for it. Shrades really no hold bars there, just like, hey, I'm, I'm going to come through this door. Trin able to pick up Mercy, which is going to reduce their ability for a big res. We'll see if they continue to press through this. Shrades is pretty interested in getting them, but Free Straw is doing a great job protecting his team. Blitzball coming along the side. I think this is kind of the end of this uh, Team Onyx push.
right, we got Team Sapphire recollecting themselves up top. And it looks like they're gonna be able to uh, force another confrontation up top here. So getting his ult up, so this could be major in these tight quarters, but if your ult doesn't go down, you really miss a good opportunity. Ooh, big kills there from Team Sapphire, and Carrie really making it happen, picking it up right there. Team Onyx just collapsing on Sapphire. Are we going to see a big res here come out of Link? Oh, but they're so spread out. Link pops you all early, just trying to stay alive, contesting this point. Reinhardt pops Reinhardt in. Reinhardt responds. Zavid top with the, with the pharmacy alt. Ooh, Team Sapphire collapsing here. Will, right out of the spawn, means he's not going to have a lot of energy, but he does have Graviton. Catches two in there. Is it going to be enough? It might be. Not if that alt, though, comes not out of your alt on it. But that main wall, surprisingly effective, right in the middle of the point as well. The Team Sapphire swap into some of these uh, sustain heroes. Save the relentlessly shooting, not giving up, not quitting, and Team Onyx picks up the point. So Team Onyx, the favor the favorites going into this matchup, managed to pick up both points, a little time left over. It's a nice chunk of time left over, if you ask me. Absolutely, that's definitely enough time to pick up at least one point. So we'll see if they're able to uh, to hold Team Sapphire and bring this to a one-to-one -one matchup. That was What's, a really nice run by Onyx. Yeah. What's the current scores right now? Can you switch uh, over? So Sapphire's up by one right now in this matchup. So Jade got how many? Two. So the score right now is four, four, three, four. four. Right? Yeah. Okay. What did I say? Three, four, three, four, three. No, I can't four. Be right. Yeah, maybe it's only one. So it's gotta be four, 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 four. Is it four across the board? Yeah. So you gotta break it up here. Jesus. So everybody right now in this moment in time is tied. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Did Jade pick up two? Yeah. Jade picked up two. So Ruby Sa picked up one. Yeah. Sapphire picked up the last game. Yeah. So, so right now our league is even. <laughs> Even across the board. Completely even. Yeah. So, in order to avoid a tie, Team Sapphire and Team Jade need to win, and Onyx need to win a game. If they each pick up a game, they're both going to the finals. But if they don't, we're gonna have some. We're gonna have some playoffs have for the playoffs. Tie, yeah. And it looks like Shrade's coming in there though. Gets booped off by Link. Doesn't convert, and here they are at the front gate here, just trying to contest. Carry up top. This is Team Onyx trying to hold this point. And we see Link go in. Uh, we see Link go in the Lucio here as well. Yeah, that can help a lot. Yeah, rush them in there. As long as uh, Sapphire plays conservatively here to get that man, I think they'll be all right. A lot of back and forth, breaking the shield. One trade shield goes down. He's kind of open for uh, engagement. Team Sapphire takes that as their indicator to start rushing in there. And Link pops his all. They're very serious about making this point happen. All comes down, trades, knocking them around. Isn't going to be enough to actually get a kill, though. And Team Sapphire is already on the point. Got a couple Onyx DPSers and Irritable back there, but his res is down. It's going to be really hard to contest this point, and this is going to be very scary for them because if they're not able to get back to this point, their Team Sapphire is just going to rush it. Here they both go. the healers here, this is going to be Both a, the healers are exposed. 
This can be a very uncomfortable split here. Oh. Three straws picking up Take out guys. one. See if he can take out Irritable as well. And they do. Now they're down two healers. Sapphire's got to be just yelling right now to get on point, get in there, start doing damage before the healers come back. But it looks like they're being held on. Yeah. Team Sapphire lost too many on that first initial push, yeah. and they only ran in there with one healer and tank. So yeah. they are going to have to refocus and regroup. It's okay. It looks like they're going to cross that upper uh, right-hand side for the offensive player route again. Yeah, pretty common. Controlling that upper portion is pretty important. Looks like they're going to go catwalk, though, so Free Straws is leading off there. Answering some of the damage dealing that's coming their way. Mill gets knocked off, which is really going to take the air out of this Sapphire push and allow Team Onyx to stabilize and heal back up. In Sapphire, they went immediately for their healers uh, on Team Sapphire, so they lost both Link and Trine there. But losing an early... Big guy being real aggressive there, real aggressive. Sees an opportunity, picks up a healer, which is really going to, again, prevent this push from Sapphire. And Sapphire looks like they're pretty well deflected here. The big guy stand nice and protected there, right above top, keeping an eye on things. So as we zoom out, kind of see the position, it looks like maybe Sapphire is going to go for the middle here, you think? Mm, yeah, they might. I think they're still regrouping. In order for, yeah, well, maybe they're going to the bottom right over there, bottom left. No, they're pushing up the middle here again. Really oh, dangerous spot, right especially with Zave right above. Just... Well, Onyx is right above, ready to collapse in on them, and it looks like with a big guy coming straight in there, along with trades, both their tanks just pushes them back out the door. Yeah, they're not able to make a whole lot happen there. You know, with these initial pushes, if you lose, start losing your attackers, on this point especially, really hard to make anything happen. You have to make a really good initial push, get a couple picks, keep your team alive, in order to actually make this push happen. And they're just trying everything right now, but Free Straws gets a couple, but trying our pops his all quickly to keep everybody up. Link Ooh, nails his all, trying to connect on here. He drops to keep Ninja protected as he goes in to deal that damage, getting rid of those healers. But Shreds, again, aggressive yep. Reinhardt play that we're seeing over and over again gets him out of there. Yep. Chases him off the point. It's just Ninja down there. They're collapsing on him. Even though he is able to take Shreds out, I don't know if this is going to be enough, but Team Sapphire does pick up quite a few kills. Rez comes out of Irritable to kind of bring it back up. Mercy almost went down. Should probably go down. Blitz. Great throw there. Wow. So, amongst all that chaos, Sapphire was... I'm sorry. Sapphire is able to keep, take this first little bit. Nice ult out of them, but again, that close respawn means that Team Onyx is going to be able to regroup here. Got to move immediately. Are they going to stay protected with Diva's ult? They do carry. Looking pretty rough with that ult. And Will is really holding on to this. And he gets smashed into the wall. If he survives that, which he does somehow, wow. Yeah, the damage resistance from Anna is very helpful, yeah, and this is just chaos coming in here. Sapphire trying to just run this down. Free straws, relentless, and looks like Team Sapphire might be able to pick this point up. We are under the three-minute mark now, and they grabbed it. All right. Wow, almost same. I mean, we've got an 11-second difference here. So this is anybody's game going into OT here. Both teams very close here. Again, if Sapphire is a, if they're each able to pick up a game for this one and the next, they're going to the finals. If somebody gets swept, that could be it here. Yeah. So these are definitely important games here for them to for them to get the wins on. So we're opting for these kind of more again traditional plays. They're doing with what they know best. Link sticking on Lucio. I still think that's a smart decision. Yeah. See Carrie moving over to Zarya. We've yeah. usually been seeing him on those hit scan heroes, main DPS. So they're opting more for this three tank build. 
um, which leaves Zayv as their main damage dealer. They might be thinking that as long as they can sustain, that's all that matters. And really, again, putting a lot on Zave to make the damage occur. So that's scary to me because she's so vulnerable against their hit scan. And you've got both Blitzball playing a fantastic McCree that he's proved. And then you've also have Ninja there, a very proven DPS, you know, hit scan soldier. Yeah, we got two, you know, we got two players that know who their targets are. They know that Zave's a threat. And I know you'll disagree, but Trine is Anna, and she can do some damage to Farah still. Not as much as she used to in previous versions, but she's still dam you know, capable of taking down uh, Farah as well. Yeah. So let's see, Free Straw's there, good position, going right into the gate there. They're keeping, again, the very similar play style we've seen in the previous two matches here. Nothing too drastic. Zave is playing a little conservative right outside of that window. Yeah, they're both looking just for an opportunity with a pick and a big boop from Zave creates chaos in the Sapphire line. They're just desperate to make something happen, but that kind of initiates the fight for them as Sapphire starts to pick up these big kills on their tanks. Wow. Blitzball though, pops that all, shooting madly around, got his dive, can get the reload, which he does, oh, nice up carry. Sapphire starting to take on this point right now. And they managed to pick up their mercy, which means that Team Sapphire's taking this first point very quickly. Zave's got to get out of there and die, which he does very quick, very quick. And they look like they're not going to slow the momentum going right in there. They've got Lucio again running a speed boost, I imagine. Whoop. Gets Whoop. picked up, but Will is there for the protection, which means that that hook does next to nothing but charge up Will. And they're already barreling down this upper portion. Let's see, they're going to go that catwalk route again. Ooh. See, right into Zave's alt. But it doesn't which, connect anything. They all oh, blitz ball. Gets blitz. blitz ball. That might be enough to just prevent this Sapphire push in the final minute. But Free Straw is able to pick it up, and they're exchanging back and forth. But the exchanges back and forth are through the advantage of Onyx, and you can see Onyx now stabilizing. Able to fend off that attack. I didn't think Onyx was going to hold back that momentum, but they did. It's very nice. Absolutely. It's going to be hard on this point to push in, especially with their final minute here. They got one, two pushes. It's going to be close, but I think, you know, again, anything's possible here. We got some big mercy opportunities from Irritable, though, and Onyx. Irritable, stay, forget out of there. Here we go. That was their initiator. And there they're starting to move in here. Team Sapphire Ooh. just collapsing with Yurtable going down and Onyx getting taken out as well. Onyx is way down now. They're down by quite a few more, but again, the close spawn could even this out. Free straws. Blast is all down. Team Onyx is regaining. Yurtable pops is all really just any way to stabilize these points. Stray is getting a lot of kills. They are able to chase him down, and it looks like Team Onyx is going to hold this spot. holding but on to it. They got a lot of uh, they got a lot of points on that, so this is going to be they tough did. for Team Onyx. So if you look at how far they progressed, they went right past that third tick. Yeah. So again, we're looking at a near capture is going to be needed here to win. Ninety-four percent. Yeah. So. Both teams have just about roughly the same amount of time, but with the new capping process, you still gotta really get a lot of work in there if you're gonna be able to, to make anything happen. Right, I gotta go to the bathroom again. Jesus, too much wow. You got it. Maverick on the potty break again. <laughs> My gosh. All right, so this is random at the helm here. We'll see if I can keep these camera views in check. So let's keep a look at Ninja here, lead the charge. Alright, so I don't see any major switches here in their lineup. Uh, we see Carrie again going on for uh, Tracer again, which we've seen in the past where just to hold on to that point, having that speed is a huge advantage. So we'll see if Onyx is able to hold on to that. So we got Ninja up by the window, ready to rock and roll. Link's in a good position there for the healing. Looks like they decided to opt off the Lucio, which makes sense considering they're going on the defensive here. 
uh, so they don't need that speed boost as much as you would if you're on the offense. So, all right, so here the engagement starts. We see both the Ryans going at it. Again, Will, good position with that Zarya charging, popping right out of that shield right there, charging up, moving back, dealing damage. See the pressure coming in there from a big guy again with the D.Va. Irritable staying safe and keeping the pharmacy up and going. And Zave moves into that safe haven up at the top there. They're gonna move back and around. Let's see what's going on in the back half. We got McCree in the back there. Blitzbolt again with that great aim. Let's see if he's able to take out Zave. And get a little trouble from Tracer there. Oh my. Zave said no. All right, let's zoom around to where the action's at. All right. We've seen Will again appropriately charging. Well, we've got Onyx here doing a nice offensive push. We got Carrie doing the Tracer thing. We saw him loop up and around. Keeping again, we see the Rhines exchanging blows. It's like Onyx is just holding on the point with yeah. both Rhines colliding in the middle there. Yeah, they're doing a very good hold. They did an interesting uh, wraparound move to grab the point. I rarely ever see the entire team come up and around. Usually get a flank from that position. We get a dead eye from the up top there. Keeps Will up. Wow. Irritable staying safe. Better run out of the way of that all. Let's see here, looking from the eyes of the healer staying safe, pulls that, pulls that ult, at least reses one person's worth it. Looks like it definitely is going to be worth it as Team Onyx is going to be able to cap this point in the final minute. Look at him already progressing up. Already they're point. saying, guys, we got to use this time, use this time. All right, there they go. They're trying to get a quick pick here, which they do. This is huge for Team Onyx here. KC big, but they just traded. Carrie's just picking him up right now. Carrie, nice, keeping him on the run. So with Carrie running him down here, they've got to take advantage of this, which they miss the old. Oh, Will has an opportunity for Graviton. Doesn't manage to pull it off. A little late alt out of Sapphire there. You see that triangle. That's where Team Onyx needs to get. Yurtable isn't doing it. Sapphire is making a great hold here. And we're rounding that 32nd mark. Blitzbolt saying it's safe. Link is up in a safe position as well. Sapphire is all ready for this final 20 second push here by Onyx. Onyx though got some good alts here. If we can see, big guy's able to pop a good diva right, thing. This could be scary. Go, go, go. Opts not to use his all. Oh, and the answer, Will answers with the Graviton right in the middle. Kind of breaks him up a little bit. Irritable jumps in. He is isn't going to Wow. Woo. So Sapphire pulls ahead right now in the lead. Wow. So they are officially in for the finals here. For finals. So what that means is right now, with Sapphire in the finals, Onyx, if they win this, they'll also be in. If they lose, we're going to be anybody's game. Yeah, we're going to have some playoffs there. Very close games here. We're gonna take a quick three minute break to give the teams an opportunity to take a break. We're gonna see if Onyx is able to lock themselves into the finals or if we're gonna have a massive tie going into uh, week four.
this game. Yeah, no kidding. So what are we thinking for... Okay. All right, here we go. We are back in action for our final game of the night here. So as we were saying earlier, just to recap, Sapphire is up two games. Uh, we got one left in the regular season. Uh, it's going to determine quite a bit. Uh, so we're looking at Sapphire right now is, is safely sitting in our first place seed for finals. And whether or not they win this is going to dictate how many uh, playoffs we're going to have for our finals and exhibition uh, for next week. Yeah, this will be the uh, a major determining factor on uh, what we're going to end up seeing for our final team here. If Onyx is able to get the win here and uh, walk away with that, they will be our semifinalists. Mm -hmm. If they don't, We'll see. You got everybody? Yep, we are good to go here. All right. So some big switches here coming out of these teams as they kind of go into this. We got Shrade switching over the healer. He's been tanked for most of the game. Okay, hold on. So we got Trine. What do we, uh, hold on. We got an issue uh -oh. with the comms. Break for comms.
to see who's still with us here in the chat. Since we moved everything up an hour this season, it definitely makes for a late night, depending on what time zone you're in. All right, everything figured out? Yeah. All right, we are restarting the match here. All right, sorry about that little comms issue. Um, unfortunately, that's what occurs at times here. But it's nice since we're all in the same room, we mm -hmm. can figure it out. Yeah, it helps. That makes a huge difference when it comes to doing this tech support stuff. You don't have somebody saying, oh, my, something's not working. It's yeah. like, well, all right. I don't know. Sometimes you just got to take the ball out of your mouse and clean it. And exactly. the yeah. Getting the dust out of there. Tell your mom to get off the phone. Yep. Don't answer it while I'm online. Yeah. All right. Together, we are All right, so looking at these teams again, uh, looks like they're running the same comp they were looking at before. Um, really quick team out of Onyx over there, which I, I'm really going to like, I think. Yeah, that'll be fun to watch. Because we already know uh, the only one we don't see play the healer a lot is Shreds. Yes. I mean, that's really the only wild card, but everyone else is very solid in those roles that they play. Yep, Trinard is a, a tank main. We recognize him from Season 1. So uh, he's definitely much more comfortable on that than other heroes that we've seen. And uh, hence the name, Trinehardt. Absolutely. Close relative of Reinhardt, actually. <laughs> and uh, Team Sapphire opts to not contest for this high ground, which uh, might be a good idea because they do not have the fair that can easily boop them off. Interesting. Um, and there they, they wrap are. around there. This nice move there. Again, Will playing that aggressive charge retreat tactic. Already up to almost 80 energy, which is huge, and he's just nailing these shots. Almost shut down Tracer there, which was played by Carey. Wow. And it looks like Sapphire's going to snap this one up. Yep. Right away, but uh, you can see Team Onyx starting to chase a couple kills back there, and uh, they might have a chance here to rush in here, though. Lucent trying out early. Bird and Blitzbolt picking up a ton of kills there. Really nice play out of him, too. Team Sapphire is going to hold this pretty nicely. Wow. I think both Will and Blitzball get the uh, Buddy Cop award for that. That was a nice tag team effort. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look at that Diva skin there. Very nice. Oh, is that the new one? Oh, I think nice. so. Somebody was playing some heroes. Team Sapphire getting ready to deflect another onslaught by Onyx here, and they're opting for this middle strategy. Back position, but Winston comes in, drops that shield with the charge. Not enough to do it. Big guy comes in, tries to make it work. It's really jammed up in that corner and knocked yeah, out. These the, the dive tanks are just kind of poking in one at a time. You can't. You got to kind of go together. Got to get that full team support behind it. Will's got his ult up in there. Team Sapphire is holding this point very easily. There we Will go. just grabs everybody. Let's see if they can do any damage there. Not, I mean, uh, not, a, not a ton there. They're retreating, so most of Onyx makes it alive there, jumping back. Not a lot, but it is going to be enough to just hold them back as Team Sapphire chases a couple more kills down and they're already looking at almost 90%. Wow. There we go. Team Onyx looking right here to connect something with Zave's all. Onyx making that push. Oh, oh that hurt. Ninja really move. shut that down. I just don't know if that Winston's working for him right here. It's just able to pick up Blitzball, but it's not going to matter too much as Team Onyx is able to pick this up very yeah. easily. Team Sapphire's got to feel good about that. So it's interesting. Team Onyx came into this. Or I'm sorry. Team Sapphire feels good about this. Team uh, Onyx came into this as our favorite, as our lead, and it's just yeah. not connecting. I'm just wondering what's not working with these teams today. 
It's really hard to tell. I mean, that particular match itself, I felt like the dive comp, I think you hit the nail on the head with the dive comp goes in. You did not have the team support behind those key dive comp heroes. So that Winston jump in, Winston noticed went by himself, and then almost like a trickle from D.Va right behind that. There really wasn't a collaborative effort there. Yeah, if you want those to work, you got to get on the healers, you got to pick them up, and then you got to have a lot of support from your DPS. Just felt like one thing was happening at a, at a time, and unfortunately, that's just not the way to make those plays work. So we got a couple switches here, Shrades on the DPS. Zave picks up a quick kill on Will. Will's been doing a phenomenal job this game, and it looks like they are going to make this work, but Blitzbolt picks up Zave. Carry chase them off. It looks like Team Onyx is going to be able to pick the point Onyx up this might time. be able. To, yeah, if you look at just the player difference here, it looks like Onyx might be able to pick this one up. There we go. All right, Team Onyx making something happen here. Starting to get some percentages on the board here. Probably feeling a lot better with this. You notice some big switches here. A big guy was the Trinehart or the Trinehart, the Reinhardt last game, and it worked pretty well for that team. This might be what he's more comfortable playing, and mm -hmm. we'll see if it pays off. Zave picking up a kill on Link. So far, so far, so good. And picking up a kill on Blitzbolt as well. I think Carrie's playing a very good tracer. I mean, a great flanker here. Zave mm -hmm. shooting in through those peepholes, right at those cho key choke points, doing that splash damage, kind of spreading them out. He's already got his ult up as well, but he's got to be careful here because he's going to have to deal with that D.Va defense matrix to really shut down this ult. But... The Diva backs away from the team and he picks up both healers. Will's hurt, Yurtable on him to keep him up. Yeah, remember we got Yurtable there with an ult, so he's already saying, hey guys, you can come in, be super aggressive, I'll res you up, we're past the 50% mark here. And that should give her enough time to charge up a second ult as well, because if you hold on to it too long, you're, you know, you only get one shot. Yeah. He's doing a good job keeping Zave up, a big damage dealer here, and it looks like Onyx is in good shape here for one more big push out of Sapphire. If they can deflect this, they're probably looking at picking up this point, but... We got two healer alts and a... Ooh, that was a big takedown of Shreds. Their DPS is short. Ooh, he's on these back line in a major way. Sapphire almost caps the point, but they do not have the numbers for this. Zave is like a cruise missile going straight for those squishies immediately. But Freestraw is able to pick it up. Team Onyx so er, Shrades doing a great use with his ult here. Nice cleanup. They chase Link down, and I think it's just Link right now on the point. If he goes down... Will able to keep this point alive for Team Onyx, but they're starting to trickle in pretty majorly here. It's going to be really hard for them to pick this up. Ninja trying to keep it up, zip around a little bit. One of our famous uh, Season 1 plays with, with Tracer skipping around on the point, and we're seeing that happen here again. But it's running low. Oh, Zave picks her off. Looks like. There we go, Onyx. Locking it in here on another on map number two. All right, so Onyx making this into a little bit of a match here. We got ourselves a game. They're not going to make match three easy. No, absolutely not. We might be seeing a Sombra on this. I don't necessarily agree with a Sombra on this. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, on this one in particular, but there are maps with Onyx that Sombra works very well with. Um, so we'll see what they opt to do. Looks like they're keeping the same sort of setup that they did last game. It worked for them. They got the win. Why not do it again? Keep doing what we're doing, guys. That's what you'll be hearing. <laughs> we'll substitute the comp voices yeah. for them. We can fill in voices. Irritable being a major part of this pharmacy, keeping up his teammate here. It's nice supported. position too. Swooping around, getting out of the got out, out of getting out of harm's way. Yeah, not only do you want to keep your teammate up, but you also want to make sure that you're, you know, alive yourself. If you get picked off, that's not going to help anybody. GG. Now irritable. 
staying on point there. We've got Team Onyx picking up the point here. Um, and kind Shred's of good position off the top. Has that good good catwalk of death, as you like to call it. Oh, yeah. Able to can retreat quickly to get health, too. There's a health pack right below if you can't self-heal. Picks off Blitzbolt, knows it's coming, and says no. So the pharmacy continues to stay up with Shred's in the back, picking him off with that hit scan. That's a really nice setup they have going there. Sapphire's going to have to break up that combo if they have any hope of getting in there. Yeah, they're just not able to connect anything here. You can see Team Onyx is just collapsing on top of him. Link trying to get his alt up a little bit to be able to get... Notice we see a Genji in there from Blitzball. Let's see if he can sneak around back and take him out. Yeah, he's doing anything to try and make something happen. He's switching a lot of heroes here. Yeah. Trying to get in that back line. Um, you see that Winston coming out of free straws. He gets taken down as well. Team Onyx is totally lighting them up in a major way here. Managed to pick up Zave, which might pay off for him. Um, this was a game of tanks, but now I'm seeing a, wow, nice work with Blitzball going right after the healers. And no one's protecting these healers, which is not good for them. Oh, there we go. Carrie's picked it up there. Letting those healers just get picked apart by Blitzbolt can be really dangerous, but they chase them back. We were seeing a game of, game of tanks, and now we're starting to see more of the game of the DPS right now. Mm -hmm. Team Onyx looking at 90% on the point right now. Sapphire's going to have one last opportunity here to break this up. They haven't had much success, but you're going to have a couple alts here, an opportunity to group together. Will's going to be coming in with the Graviton. Got to find a good target for that. Picks up carry. Gets Shred, sees the healer, and drops that grab. Nice. Nice. needs to be able to fly out of there. He doesn't need to, though. No. Nope. Team Onyx picks it up. Well, Onyx now on the cusp of breaking the two-win streak by Sapphire tonight. Yes, this is big for them. If Onyx is able to win this map right here, they secure themselves in the finals. If they don't, they're kind of up into a best, of, you know, into three other competitors to see if they can break it up. Yeah. If they could do a three-team death match, we probably would. Yeah. I mean, we might have to. Yeah. But we'll see if Team Onyx is able to pull off a win here. They'll be in good shape. You know, and maybe Team Sapphire is even thinking, you know, maybe we throw this, we'll play against Team Onyx, <laughs> and we know we can beat them. But maybe not. Hopefully not. Still throwing it in the league here. Trade's getting caught out a little bit here, trying to take that up. Coming up and over, Will spots him immediately. The pharmacy and the damage again. They're doing that same combo. You've got splash damage from the from the uh, Pharah, and then you got to finish him off with the soldier. Picks up free straws. Picks up blitz ball. Team Onyx is in a great position to take this point as Zave picks up another one. Ninjas behind, trying to pick up a little bit, build up his alt. But his whole team's falling around around him, and he's gonna have to get out of there. Which he, he wants to survive, which he does. A good, good decision on Ninja's part, but didn't make it. Carrie picked him off. Now but I think the Genji's a good pick there uh, for Ninja. Yeah, definitely. Team Sapphire starting to regroup here, and uh, Team Onyx is sitting pretty comfortably on the point here. Alts are pretty normal across the board here, and Sapphire's looking to engage. Ticking along. But again, Will always charged. I feel like he's putting in a cheat code at spawn. <laughs> Does seem like it. Quick to get energy. Free straws going in there, zapping away. Drawing a lot of fire as he's able to jump out. Ninja's on top, picking up trades. Ooh, Blitz took out save. That was big. That was big. Looks like they sh irritable. No, no res on him right now. Both carry and Blitzbolt just running around as Tracer taking him out. So what you're looking at, yeah, definitely. So they're going to get up to about 50%, which is good for Team Onyx. And, uh, but Sapphire's going to re-pick re up this point. Sapphire's pulling it up now. Interesting team comp changes there. Much different than what we're seeing at the end of Season 1, that's mm -hmm. for sure. 
Save, opting for some close quarters in the middle there. Look at the oh, land is all Ling nails the boot, which is going to open up and up, you know, keep Sapphire in this as they pick up another one on save. This is going to pretty much shut down Onyx's push pretty significantly. So they're going to be able to even it up here. Uh, oh, see Irritable just escaping danger there. Ninja being aggressive, not to overextend too much with the Tracer Genji combo. Team Onyx slowly starting to push their way up here. Ooh, big pickup there. Means that they're down a healer and down a Lucio ult, which is gonna be pretty important as Free Sauce pops his ult, trying to chase him down and buy some time. And now they pull a Sapphire ult as well out of Zenyatta. They're out of those defensive ults. Wow. And theirs goes down in the midst of Ninja, so it's gonna be hard to make anything happen. Onyx starting to charge down here the path. We see a big guy really hitting stride here. Oh yeah, he's looking pretty good. And Yurtable still's got his ult up, so they just gotta keep that up. And Team Sapphire, or Team Onyx rather, Onyx grabs spread the point them out and grabbed 80. it. So we got a little opportunity here. Oh, they are caught in that. Which means Sapphire, oh, irritable, huge oh, res, keeps them up right there. Huge res. And that's going to completely flip the tables there. Undoes Will's ult, but they're still coming at him hard here. But Sapphire not able to hold after that ult. Great mercy res there, keeping them all up. Blink goes down. Team Onyx is holding it at 75%. Onyx pulls that out. I'm going to attribute that ult from Irritable as the tide changer. Absolutely. That was it right there. They almost lost that point. Yep. And now Sapphire's got one last chance to see what they can do. And it looks like it's going to be riding on Blitzbolt's ult. We'll see if he's able to land anything here. This is the only ult they have. And it might be the only ult they're going to be left with. He's trying to pick up that Mercy. Which he does not, does but not, still be but able to still pick up manages kill. to take her out. We're looking at an overtime with Team Onyx on the point. Sapphire picking up a couple kills here. Sapphire continuing to chase three straws, firing that all, getting aggressive. Looks like Team Sapphire is going to be able to pick up this point despite not having a lot of alts, but Team Onyx is going to be able to regroup and put in one more push. All right, so we're looking at the final push here. Irritable is positioning. Maybe not. I don't think he's going to be able to get an alt out here, but they're still going to obviously target the healer. Got to be careful with all these moves here. Coming in here, Link's hoping for his ult to come up. Oh. He gets blasted down right away by Shrades, and that's just enough time for their... For the Onyx all to come down. All comes out of Zabe, just with the landing Pharmacy death is down. Very effective. Looks like Onyx is really taking control of this point. Zabe nailing those shots. They just got to reclaim this point. Which it looks like they're going to be able to do. Looks like they got Link it. Link trying to come up there. He's going to have his ult. He'll be able to pop that to survive just a little bit longer. Drop it, Link, and he's got, he's gonna stay alive. A lot of help, see. Blitzball coming in as well. This is not over yet. These teams are fighting for this point, but Blitzball and Link and drop, and now it is over. Now it's over. Team Onyx manages to squeak out the victory, which means they are going to the finals as well. Wow. Yes, here it is. This irritable res is what kept Onyx in this game. Whole team goes down. Flies in with the four-man res and the pickup by Zave there. Great mercy play. Really heads up, staying out of that fight, allowing the alts to get burned, and completely flipping it around. So we've got Onyx at the end of regular season retaining first place going into finals for next week. I think they're tied for first, but... Er, yeah, they would be tied then, right? Yeah. Sapphire is uh, sitting. Yep. Five. Yep. So what that's going to mean is that Team Jade and Team Ruby Ruby will be playing for uh, third and fourth place. Yep. Doesn't have a prize associated with it. Team Onyx and Team Sapphire are going to have an opportunity for a rematch where they'll be playing uh, for the pro grand prize.
and champion of, and champion of season, two. season two. So that wraps up play for regular season, season yep. two. Uh, thanks, everybody, for sticking through, even the technical difficulties tonight. So we've got a lot to look forward to. Uh, we're going to have some big announcements coming. So keep an eye on, obviously, our Discord. We're going to have our normal weekly play on Tuesday night. So we'll have our scrims. The teams will be in there, too. I'm sure talking up strategies since they know each other pretty well. So we'll yeah. see how that goes down. Uh, but again, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see everyone next week. Yeah, definitely. Tune in next week. Finals matches. We're going to see who walks away with the champion of Season 2, and uh, very exciting stuff.